Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you how to test oxygen sensor on Chevy Cruze, guys. We will explain about the upstream oxygen sensor. This is a very important sensor, guys, and we will explain what needs to be done to test that. You can do that with two different computers, and we're going to explain how in just a second now, guys. So, quick introduction. We'll have more than 200 videos on uh, Chevy Cruze and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. This is because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, guys, you will find the information helpful. Now, what does the oxygen sensor does now, guys? Upstream oxygen sensor is super important part of the engine, okay, of the engine management. Why? Because, okay, it's that sensor right there. And doesn't matter if you have the 1.8, 1.6 or 1.4 engine, the procedure is the same. Pretty much that engine tells the computer how much fuel and air we have in the exhaust. And if we have too much fuel, which is rich uh, mixture, or not enough fuel, which is lean mixture, Guys, it's going to, uh, it's going to actually, uh, the computer will tell the injectors, okay, we need to spray more or less fuel to adjust that. Now, how we can test that thing, guys? First thing, you need to make sure that your car is completely warmed up. I mean, all the way warm. Now, let me explain what scanner we'll be using, and you can do that even with a simple scanner, but if you're on the market for a good scanner, guys, that works on pretty much any car, and it's like dealer level equipment without a programming, this is your best buddy here. We have the link in the description of the video below. So please guys, check it out. That's for your convenience. And okay, let me show you guys what we have here. I'm going to connect it now quick. Okay, to the OBD port. Okay, let me turn the light on for you quick. Okay, right there. And now I'll show you what we'll be doing next. So what we need to do, we need to turn our ignition key on okay like that and this is the scanner now guys let me show you how many cars makes and models that thing supports okay you can work on so many cars guys you can even work on bugatti we've used it on a porsche before and it works great so many cars so i select now general motors this is a chevy cruiser so that's general motor vehicle guys you can do vin detection it will automatically decode everything for you then i go to manual selection we go to 2015 passenger car Chevy Cruze and it may ask you which engine you have at that point. Ours is the 1.8. It's loading now. It will take just a little bit of time. At the same time, I'm going to start the car now. Car is started. Okay, it may ask us which radio we have. Doesn't matter for that purpose because we won't be diagnosing the radio system. But check it out now, with that computer you can check every computer in the car guys, every module. You can scan all that stuff. So, pretty much amazing, right? Now, we are going to go and select engine control module, live data, and it may ask us, okay, it may ask us now uh, if we have automatic or manual transmission. You can check your voltage in the corner here, 14.3, great voltage. We click engine right here guys okay oh, let me go back my bad now there is an easier way to do that you just click ox heated oxygen sensors and now we are going to click sensor number one okay this is sensor number one let me show you now here uh, oxygen sensor one and two is past the catalytic converter so this sensor one and we are going to select now the graph and I want to show you the graph now, guys. Check out the value, how it goes up and down when the car idles. That's how it should be, guys. Why? Because it alternates between rich and, uh, rich and lean mixture so it can uh, get the right mixture, guys. And now I want to show you guys, okay, right here. I want to show you if I rev the car up, what is going to happen now. Check it out. It should go rich for a long time. And then when I let off, it will go lean. Okay, if I hold the gas down like that, it should alternate up and down again. It should be very responsive. I let off, no gas, now it will go lean. Check it out, that flat line, that means that it's not getting fuel. That's because when it's revved up and I let off the gas for a short period of time, the engine is not getting fuel and that's a lean mixture. When I give it gas, at the first second, okay, it should detect a rich mixture, guys, because it's getting more gas than air. So check it out now. 
Okay, and then it's going to go back to normal. And I light off. So you can see that's a good graph of a good sensor there, guys. Now, if we go scroll down, you can even check your heaters. Okay, that's when the engine is cold. The heater sometimes burns, so you can check if they're activated or not. So that's a great, uh, great way to do that as well, guys. Otherwise, uh, this is the easiest way, okay, to test oxygen sensors. You can see just like that. So, hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.